when we talk about Tim Tebow here, a lot of people say, does he have anything left in the tank to get another shot in the NFL? And, and I think that's the question that a lot of fans wonder. Will he get another shot in the NFL? One thing we do know, he works out here in the Valley of the Sun with Ian Danny, and uh, he's got a very unique perspective on his training, his goals. Gail Jansen inside the workouts one-on-one -on -one with Tim Tebow. The valley is hot in the summer in more ways than one. It's long been a hot spot for NFL players' off-season training programs. Performance Enhancement Professionals in Scottsdale is getting ready to send their clients off to their team's training camps. And most guys are leaving for training camp sort of Sunday and Monday. You know, we'll have our big year-end party over the weekend and send everybody off. Their workouts were cooking in the morning, but it was blistering outside in the afternoon when they took their workout outside for a Danny Ball tournament. You know, I've been here for eight years, and it's a, it's a game very unique uh, to what we do at Performance and Hampton Professionals. Uh, obviously, Ian Danny is the creator of it, so we call it Danny Ball. And you throw a 10-pound medicine ball around in the sand, it's two on two, uh, but you can't pass it to each other. So it's really, it's cardio, it's core, it's legs, it's everything all encompassed into one workout, but it's competitive. And when you get guys like this competing at an NFL level who come out here and play a game, they play it like it's for the Super Bowl. Uh, so there's no better workout in the world. Tim Tebow, who started working out with Danny this summer, was one of the favorites to win the tournament, even though it was his first time. All right, so your first tournament playing Danny Ball, it's quite a workout. So you've done it as a workout, but not as a tournament. But this is my first tournament, and it's so much fun. It's great conditioning. Um, you know, it's, it's great for explosiveness, and um, just to come out here and learn to fight through fatigue, and we have a lot of fun, and obviously, as you can tell, it's pretty competitive as well. Tebow would have to get through Redskins safety Ryan Clark, who's the other favorite. Have you won in past years? Yes, I, I, have, I have won it three times. I've won it three times with three different partners. Um, I like to say most of the time the common denominator is me, uh, but I won't, take all the, I won't take all the credit. I mean, it's just the way the ball flow, falls sometimes. But either way, it's about getting in shape and getting ready to play for this next season. Tebow showed his amazing conditioning playing in 105-degree heat. He continues to work on all aspects of his game. I'm just continuing to get in better shape, uh, better condition, stronger, um, but really working on a lot of mechanics uh, you know, as a quarterback, uh, and I feel like I'm improving the most in that area. Danny hopes Danny Ball will only continue to grow. You know, we've had years where you know guys put in money and you know it's a winner take all type of thing, and those get those are a lot of fun. But what we want to do next year is really build it up, and we're going to play for charity. We're going to have lots of guys come in, and everyone's going to put money in and play for their own charity. And winner takes all. And some, some charity is going to be uh, very happy. In Scottsdale, Gail Jansen, Fox 10 Sports.